Good morning, modern steaders. We got about eight tenths of an inch of rain last night, and today we're supposed to get over a half an inch of rain. It's been a crazy year this year, especially with rain. We're either not getting any rain at all, or when it does rain, it just comes down in buckets. been having a ton of pollen this year. I'm all plugged up. I woke up the other morning, sore throat, stuffy, so I don't know if I'm getting a cold or if it's allergies. It's been a crazy year. These meat birds are getting huge. I think they're all gonna be ready this Saturday for butchering. I can't believe how much they've grown in under a week. <laughs> Guys, I broke down and bought a garden cart the other day. Like I said, I haven't been feeling well. Lugging the water all the way down to the meat birds was killing me. So that morning before work, I ran out to the store and picked one up. <sighs> I said, I can't handle this. I bet you the girls will love having it too. You want to come in and figure out you're all wet? Float out! You coming, mister? I should have broke down and got one of these cots a long time ago. It makes work so much easier. Good morning, girls. Now, normally I've been limiting their feed during the day. But this week I've been giving them free choice feed. Tell you what, between the two tractors, this is either, I think this is my third bag of grain since last Saturday. So they're eating a ton, but they're growing nice and quickly. So this Monday we'll have another chicken harvesting video. And we're gonna get more into weighing the birds going over that kind of information too. Last time we had the wedding, we didn't have time to do that. <laughs> Good morning. morning. You think it's winter out? You got a glove on and a hood? Yeah. What's the glove for? Because when I melt this hand gets cold. Oh. Cause that's the hand you don't milk with? Yeah. Gotcha. I had to hide their feed up here from the chickens. It's starting to rain out, so I don't think the kids are gonna come out of the barn. Hey, they can just stay underneath the hay feeder. I don't think they will, but we can try. They're pushing on the door. They wanted to get out. You want to get the grain? Huh? You want to get the grain? Sure. I'll get her strapped in. So we ended up getting a stainless steel milking pan like Wiedemann Reap has. It's working nicely. And Olivia is taking over the milking, huh? Mm hmm Did figure out come out when you came out? He did, I don't think so. No, I just thought I heard him crying. I know, so do I. What are you doing, figure out? He is out. What are you doing? You're a crazy cat. I just let you in. I wanted to thank Crystal over at the Blue Cactus Dairy Goat YouTube channel. I'll put a link to that channel in the description down below and right here. She did a video on goat milking and showed us her dairy goat, goat hobbles that she makes for her milking stand. They've been working awesome with Willow. So thank you, Crystal. We're trying to teach Willow she's in that milking stand till we're ready to let her out, not when she wants to come out. Huh, Yep. Yeah. Come on. 
Oh yeah, he's trying to rub against your leg. Come on, big girl. Man, is it coming down. We've already gotten that much today. Crazy. When we had our pasture to plate culinary workshop here with Doug and Andy from Hand Hewn Farm, in April we were making some pasture raised hot dogs. And we ground up a bunch of meat so I could make hot dogs later on during the season. Today we're gonna be making another batch. If you haven't seen the videos for our pasture to plate class, I'll put a link to that series right here. First thing we need, we're gonna need about six feet of sheep casing. Take our spices. Now the next few steps, we gotta work quickly while we're doing it. We wanna make sure the meat stays nice and cold and we also wanna make sure that it doesn't break the emulsion. So, let's see how it goes. Carnivore meat grinder comes with an ice pack to go around the throat, which comes in handy for making hot dogs. So we did the first grind of all the hot dog meat during the class, and we bagged it up and marked it hot dogs. And we need a cup of crushed ice. I fried up some of the leftover hot dog meat that was left in the stuffer. Let's try it. Mmm. That's delicious. Oh, there's gonna be some great hot dogs. You wanna try a bite? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Smells good. Yeah. Ready for a bite? Um, it is good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's been raining all day. We should go check on the goats and see how they're doing. I bet they're inside the barn because they don't like when it rains out. 
I got my camera back from Canon. This is my 70D with the wide angled lens, which is great for some things, but I don't think it's good for when you're walking. It just gives you a weird view in your vision. Leave it in the comments down below and let me know what you think. Hello, girls. Yeah. You've been stuck in here all day? Oh, I know. Good thing Libby's built you a bench, huh? Get you some hay. We need to get them a hay rack for inside the barn. All the ones that I can find so far, they're four horses and they have huge openings and they're gonna end up wasting more hay than they eat. You chewing some cud? All right, have fun. The pigs don't care, they'll play in the rain, huh girls? Yeah, you don't mind the rain, do you? Or you, sausage, huh? Makes mud for you. And it's still not done raining for the day. 1.15 inches. Crazy. Oh, it smells delicious in here. So I left the hot dogs in here for a little while to dry out. Still raining out, and we've gotten just over an inch and three quarters of rain. Oh my goodness, I, I don't know when it's gonna stop either. Now that our hot dogs reached an internal temp of 160, the ones we're not eating for dinner tonight, I'm gonna put in a cold water bath to stop them from cooking. Delicious. I heard you already tried them. I did, it's what I had for lunch. You didn't tell me that you had some. Daddy didn't tell you that. We're tired of Miss Livy's. Okay, ready for the first bite? I already took a first bite. That's good. This is where we're gonna end today's video. We're gonna go milk Willow, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.